let's meditate on uh, Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. As it is written, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him, in the presence of him, whom he believed, whom he believed, God. Uh, God, God who gives life to the dead. Yeah. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist. Yeah. God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. As though they did. Hallelujah. We are believing in the Lord in a God who calls, who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Hallelujah. This is, hallelujah, we can call it the faith of God. It's not faith on God, it is faith of God. Hallelujah. Because He is a God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Hallelujah. He calls those things which do not exist as though they did. And if you see, we know about the creation, when the earth, when Genesis chapter, when we go back to Genesis chapter 1, there we read in the beginning, verse 1 and 2. Please read. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form. The earth was without form. And void. Yes, it was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. Amen. The darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. Was hovering over the face was of the waters. Was hovering over the face of the waters. <laughs> Then God said, Then God said, Let there be light. Let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. Hallelujah. See, the, the word, the spoken word of God. Hallelujah. He says, Deep darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Hallelujah. So here we read uh, the spoken word of God. He speaks, he sends forth his word and he creates. Hallelujah. He says, let there be light. And who was there already? The word of God says, the spirit of God was hovering on the face of the waters. Hallelujah. It's not the mere word, word but the word of God together with the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The word that comes forth with us, if you speak, or I, we may also say, okay, I speak the word of faith, so I expect something to happen. If not, if the, if the words are not anointed words, hallelujah, filled with the Spirit of God, then it is an ordinary word, hallelujah. When the word of God comes with the Spirit of God and the anointing of God, it has power in it, hallelujah. Power to even create things, power to bring things out of, hallelujah, death. Amen. So only he is a God who calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Hallelujah. The light was not there but he says here, let there be light and there was light. Amen. So likewise the Lord created everything and it is the work of God. That's how the Lord wants his children also to be. So we have to understand the power of God, power in the spoken word of God, power in the spoken word of God along with the Spirit of God. Let's go back to uh, Romans uh, chapter uh, 4 and verse 17. Please read it again. As it is written, as it is written, I have made you a father of many I nations. I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him, in the presence of him, whom he believed, whom Abraham believed, God who gives life yes, to the dead. Yes, Abraham. It is speaking about, this passage is speaking about Abraham. And Abraham believed in the God who gives life to the dead. And calls those and things, calls those things which do not exist. Yes, he calls those things which do not exist as though they he did. did did they did. Hallelujah. So this is the mind of God. That's how God could create so many things, and He calls those things which do not exist as though they did. 
Amen. For example, this place is so empty here in front, but we can say, oh, it's filled with so many people here. By seeing the future. <laughs> Hallelujah. As if the place is packed with souls. That's how Paul Yonkichar used to do it, it seems, in his ministry. Uh, initially, there were very few number, handful of people, but then he used to preach as if he used to scream and preach, and people used to keep their, uh, you know, uh, keep their ears shut like that. They close their ears, saying that why do you preach as if, as though you are preaching so to some thou ten thousand or thousands of people. But he used to tell it seems you see only few people here, but I see thousands of people sitting here. Now, how many? Some I think seven lakhs or so many believers are there in his church in South Korea. So, likewise, that's how he, I think he exercised the faith of God. Amen. As though because I, I, I don't exercise, I don't scream and all that and preach. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But I have the faith with it, without screaming. Hallelujah. So, many a times he used to do that. And uh, many a times when I read in his testimony and all that, I, I used to read in his initial stage of ministry. And he needed a bicycle and he needed a a table made out of some mahatni wood or something and a chair and all that. And then uh, one day he went and uh, you know spoke before his believers saying that God has given me, blessed me with the bike that I wanted. God has blessed me with a table I wanted. God has blessed me with a chair I wanted. I thank the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah and all that. And after the service got over, some notorious fellows and the youngsters in the church like you know some uh, people who would always fight for and those boys came forward and said pastor we would like to see those things that you confessed you know I want to see the bike that God has blessed you with I want to see the chair and the table that God has blessed you with then he says oh hallelujah then he was I was stunned for a moment and then he said it seems no no I'm just now conceived it's a time it's time we it, it, it will take time to come out hallelujah I'm come, now conceived then they all started mocking at him, saying that, oh, uh, uh, pa, pa, that is, uh, uh, Pastor Paul Yankichev is now conceived, he's something like that, in a not a wrong right way. And all that. So he says, it's now, God has given me in my spirit, I'm going to get it very soon. Immediately, before he could reach the place, he could see the chair and the table and the bike already kept ready for him. Hallelujah. That's how our Lord works. That's how we have to exercise our spirit. Hallelujah. We have to. Faith is not just mouth confession. It is believing in heart and confessing with mouth. Hallelujah. Romans 10 and verses 9 and 10. Please read. Romans chapter 10 and verses 9 and 10. That if you confess with your mouth. That if you confess with your mouth. The Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart. And believe in your heart. That God has raised him from the dead. Yes, and that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. You will be saved. For if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Not only saved from the world, not only saved from the situation, not only saved from saved from any situation that you are in. Believe in heart. Hallelujah. The God who raised Jesus Christ from the dead, he is able to do that for me too. Amen. Extraordinary things, supernatural things, he is able to do. Hallelujah. That is the faith that you have to conceive in your heart first and then confess with your mouth later. Amen. Conceive in your heart with God all things are possible because most of the things the enemy tries to, hallelujah, glory to God, bind God's people that so that they don't possess the blessings of God. They don't come forward to receive the blessings of God. So when we confess this as Jesus could not, the, the death could not hold Jesus back, hallelujah. So also these evil forces cannot hold us back from inheriting the blessings of God that are kept in Hallelujah, stole for us. Amen. So we have to come forward. When we keep confessing, confessing the spirits of hell or powers of the uh, evil one cannot hold you back from possessing or inheriting the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Only the faith can work. Nothing. We are weeping and fasting. Everything more than that is the faith. Hallelujah. That is faith of God. Amen. 
praise be to God. So that's how we have to exercise the faith and that's how we can see the results, hallelujah, from God. And that's how God wants us, expects us to have such a faith to, hallelujah, move on. And the same thing at the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2. There we read, uh, uh, we see uh, an incident, incident happening there where Peter and John going towards the house of God, temple of God, there they see a lame man born by birth. He was a lame person. Um, chapter 3, Acts of the Apostle, chapter 3, verse 2, please read it. And certain man lame from his mother's womb. Yes, a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried. Yeah. Was carried whom they lay daily. Yeah, was carried whom he lay, where they lay daily at the gate of the temple, mm. which is called beautiful, which is called beautiful. Amen. To ask alms mm. from those who entered the temple. Yeah. Who seeing Peter and John yeah. about to go into the temple, yes. asked for alms. Yes. And fixing he asked his, for alms. Yeah. And fixing his eyes on him. Fixing his eyes on him with John, with John, Peter said, Peter said, look at us, look at us. So he gave them his attention. Yes. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have. Silver and gold that I do not have. But what I do, what I do have, have, have I, I give you. I give you what I do have. Silver and gold I do not have. This is what. Hallelujah. What I have, I give you. Amen. When the lame man asked for arms. They didn't say, oh, we don't have anything. We hear Peter and John, they fixed their eyes on him. They said, look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. But then they said, silver and gold I do not have. But I do have something. In Amen. We have something special in us. What silver and gold cannot do, that can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Silver and gold I do not have, but what do what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Hallelujah. What was in them? The name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, the preciousness, you should know the how precious the name, how powerful the name of Jesus Christ. With that attitude, if you only confess the name of Jesus Christ before the situation, situations will turn and change. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You need to exercise faith without which we cannot expect miracles or receive anything from God. Yeah, please read. And then what happened? In the and he took him by the right hand. And he took him by the right hand. And lifted him up. And lifted him up. And immediately. And immediately. His feet his and feet, ankle bones. His feet and ankle bones. Received strength. Received strength. So he. So he leaping up. Leaping up. Stood. Stood. And walked. And walked. And entered the and temple. And entered. I like this passage. Leaping up. Stood and walked. And entered the temple with them. Walking. Leaping. And praising God. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. So this is how the Lord works. Silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ. When they were employed by the authorities. Hallelujah, glory to God. And uh, he, they confess. Please read the 16. And his name, mm. through faith, mm. in his name, mm. has made this man strong. Yes. Who and his he, name, uh, through faith, mm, through in, faith, in his name, uh, through faith in his name, has made the man strong. Has made the man strong. Whom you see and know. Whom you see and know. Yes. Yes. The faith which comes through him. The faith which comes through him. Has given him this perfect soundness. Yes. Has given him this perfect soundness. In the presence of you all. In the presence of you all. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. They confess the faith that they had. 
uh, on the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then he said, in and his name, through faith in his name, through faith in, we have to keep exercising within first. Hallelujah. In our heart first. In our spirit first. We have to exercise the faith. Amen. <laughs> keep meditating, keep meditating, keep meditating and meditating in it as Paul your kitchen, I have conceived in my spirit. Like that. You have to conceive this faith in the name of Jesus Christ in your spirit first. And when it is fully grown, it will be in operation. Hallelujah. So, without which immature, like, you know, without being, you know, that fully grown, that when you confess, you may not receive, you may not see any miracle or anything happening in the name of Jesus. But when you really keep meditating on the, uh, you know, uh, the name of Jesus and keep, uh, hallelujah, glory to God, meditating the faith, the giving, giving a sound meditation to your mind concerning things that need to happen in your lives, you have to keep meditating and meditating and meditating. That gives the power within first for you to come out with a confession with power and authority. Hallelujah. And that can bring tremendous results in our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to possess the blessings each and every, uh, you know, uh, step or every uh, phase of our life. We have to exercise this faith and find miracles in our lives. Hallelujah. So only through faith we can find the results from God, and uh, we, we see all the mount, all things when 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 pe people face uh, uh, situations, it will be like mountainous uh, situation challenges. But people always look to the situation, and then they give uh, the human understanding to work on that instead of meditating on the greatness of our Lord. Instead of meditating on the power of His resurrection, instead of meditating on the power in the name of Jesus Christ, they just give in to it. Oh, such a huge problem! I just cannot tackle it or face it. Oh, it's 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 not possible. No, no, no. In that situation only, you should possess the faith of God, saying that He is a God who calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Hallelujah. So also, let me exercise that faith. Let me possess that faith. Let me find results in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So it is the faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Faith. Through faith in his name, he has made this man strong with whom you see and know. Yes, the faith which comes through him. Amen. The faith comes from Jesus Christ only because... He is, Romans, I mean, Hebrews 12, uh, verse 1, um, it says, He is the author and finisher of faith. He is the author and finisher of faith. So we have to fix our focus, our attention, fix our mind on the Lord. And He is the one, only through Him we receive the faith and that can make with that which made that layman perfect, gave him perfect soundness, same thing can happen in our lives too. Amen. Hallelujah. And also, he is a God who gives life to the dead. Hallelujah. That's how God performs miracles even in sicknesses and whatever is impossible, whatever is not going to happen, it can happen. Oh, with God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This you should have. It's not somebody else's faith that is going to save us. It is our faith that is going to save us. Amen. Wherever Jesus performed miracles when he was on this earth, wherever he performed miracles, you can see him telling those people, your faith has, Amen. hallelujah, made you whole. Hallelujah. It is your faith, your faith. And whenever he, it, it, it comes to us, his disciples, they are always rebuked for you know, for the lack of faith. Always, many a times, when Peter wanted to walk on waters, God said, Jesus said, come, and he started walking on waters. Amen. Matthew's Gospel 14 chapter. He started walking on waters. Where the word of God says, Peter walked on waters. Then when this big, huge tide came up, then he saw, instead of keeping his eyes fixed, and his spirit, hallelujah, holding on to that faith that 
that the, on the call that was given to him by Jesus to walk on waters, he turned and looked to the tides and then he started drowning. That's when he cries out to God saying that, Lord, please help me. And then Jesus, hallelujah, says him saying that, O ye of little faith, hallelujah, why have you doubted? Why have you doubted? Hallelujah. Then holds his hand and pulls him out of the waters. So that's how we do. Oh, we say, oh, I'm walking, I'm going to walk on faith. We'll walk for a few steps, we'll walk. Then when the situation arises, when the enemy comes like a roaring lion, then we just lose our focus, attention on the Lord, and then we turn to see the devil. Oh, then they start, their people, mostly Christians, only give all praises to the devil. <laughs> They'll talk, devil did this, devil, Satan did this, devil did this. More than confessing Jesus, people confess Satan and devil and witchcraft, this and that. And that, those things only just, he is like a rolling lion and he is not a lion. Hallelujah. So, he is always, he wants to propose himself as something, somebody very powerful and something. And he will just, he just proposes himself, that's all. But he says, he has no stuff at all. Hallelujah. So, we can easily overcome him if you only know the story. Instead of, you know, whatever the enemy tries to threaten you with. Oh, we are not going to keep our attention on that. Instead, we are going to focus on the law call that was given by God to us. Hallelujah, He has called us. So I am going to focus on Him. Whatever comes, what, whatever comes on my way. Hallelujah. I am going to fix my eyes and heart on Jesus alone. Amen. Hallelujah. That's when we can really, hallelujah, find God in midst of all this situation. Hallelujah. Otherwise, oh hallelujah, the threatening situations will always try to frighten you and say, oh, where is your God? Hallelujah. They will try to mock at you. Only thing, your faith. And uh, we know that uh, first John, hallelujah, glory to God, you will overcome this earth. How will you overcome this world? Through your faith only. Only the faith. Please read First John 5, 4. Yeah. Whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Overcomes the world. And this is the victory. This is the victory that has overcome the world. That has overcome the world. Our faith. Our faith. Hallelujah. You are in this world. And being a Christian, you have to exercise your faith every moment in your life. Only then you can be an overcomer in this world. How many of you believe that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you shall, you are in this world. Please read it again. For whatever is born of yes, God. Yes, whatever is born of God. Overcomes the world. Overcomes the world. And this is the victory. And this is the victory. That has that overcome, has overcome the, world. the world. Our faith. Our faith. Our faith. Our faith. Or you can make it personal. It says my faith that will overcome the world. And in this world, there are so many challenges. Each and every step would be a challenge for you. And that only through the faith on God and faith of God, you can overcome the challenges that come on your way. Hallelujah. You cannot escape. You may say, oh, I can say, can I escape the challenges and go some other shortcut method? No, no, no. Hallelujah. No shortcut method. Hallelujah. Some people try doing that. That's not the way, but we cannot find God in, in that shortcut method. So whatever is born of God, it is your faith that is going to overcome this world and give you the victorious life. Hallelujah. To be a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, it's your faith on God and faith of God that you exercise in your life. Let's come back to Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Romans chapter 4 and verse 17. As it is written. Yeah. As it is written. As it is written. I have made you a father of many nations. I have made you a father of many nations. In the presence of him. In the presence of him. Whom he believed. Whom Abraham believed. God. God. Who gives life to the dead. Uh, who gives life to the dead. And calls those things which do not exist. And calls those things which do not exist. As though they did. As though they did. Abraham believed in this God 
who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. Hallelujah. And what he did, how he exercised his faith, we'll read it in the next verse about Abraham. Please read it. Who contrary to hope. Yeah. In the in hope. Who contrary to Abraham. See how what Abraham did. We are going to meditate on Abraham's faith also. Hallelujah. Who, Romans 4, 18. 18. Please read it. Who contrary to hope. Who? Abraham contrary to hope. In hope believed. In hope he believed. Hallelujah. That's what is the faith. Contrary to hope. In, in hope. hope believed. Everything will be contrary to hope. But we are expected to continue to believe in the Lord. Amen. Contrary to hope, in hope believed, so that he became the, he father, became the father, of father of many nations. According to what was spoken. Yes, so that he became the father of many nations according to what was spoken. So shall your descendants be. Hallelujah. And not being weak in faith. How the descendants be? How where did the Lord speak to Abraham? Genesis chapter. Genesis chapter 15 and then the Lord speaks to him yeah verse 5 then he brought him outside and said yeah then he brought him outside and said look now towards the heaven look now towards the heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them count the stars if you are able to number them and he said to him and he said to him so shall your descendants be so shall your descendants be and he believed in the lord and he believed in the lord and he accounted Accounted it to him and for righteousness. He, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. Amen. The Lord says, look. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now towards heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And so shall your descendants be. When nothing, no one child was there for Abraham. God promised him saying that your descendants shall be like the stars that you are seeing now. And then, Abraham immediately, instantaneously, without doubting, questioning God, he believed in God. Hallelujah. And God counted that for righteousness. Hallelujah. In the life of Abraham. When God promised Abraham, it was, uh, he was uh, 75 years old. Hallelujah. Imagine God telling him, I'm going to give you uh, children like you know the stars of the heaven so many children in 75 years and more nothing he never uh, gave room for the human understanding intellect hallelujah but instead like a childlike faith he believed on the Lord hallelujah with God all things are possible even in I think uh, chapter 20 hallelujah glory to 22 there again the Lord promises Abraham when he offered up the only one, one and only son, when he wanted to, when God wanted him to offer up the only one son, Isaac, and then God interferes and then intervenes and say, you're not supposed to put your hand on the lad. And then verse 17, Blessing, I will bless you. Blessing, I will bless you. And multiplying, I will multiply your descendants. Yeah, multiplying, I will multiply your descendants. As the stars of the heaven. As the stars of the heaven. And as the sand which is on the seashore. Amen. And as the sand which is on the seashore. And I'll, your descendants shall possess the gate of the enemy. Amen. He shall, I shall bless your descendants as stars of heaven as the sand of the seashore. And Abraham immediately, implicit obedience and implicit, immediately, instantaneously, he believed on the Lord and that was counted as righteousness for him. Amen. Immediately God counted that as uh, righteous and God was so pleased with Abraham because uh, oh, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse uh, 6 the word of God says it is impossible to please God without faith it is impossible to please God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is and because he says those who come to him they have to believe that he is that the existence of God and he is the rewarder of them who seeks him diligently 
Hallelujah. And you come to God with this kind of faith, that only will please God and that only releases the power of God towards you. Amen. When you touch, it's like plugging, like it's, you know, when the plug is put in the socket, then even if the electricity comes like that, when you are real proud, when you, you should know to tap the power of God by releasing your faith on the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are not going to release your faith, you will not exercise or experience or taste the power of God in your life. Amen. So here, the, we read about Abraham, how he was blessed, how God wanted to bless him and he believed on the Lord. And then what happened? We'll come back to Romans chapter 4. Hallelujah. Verse 18, right? Quickly read. Please quickly read. Who contrary yeah. to hope. Who contrary to hope. In hope believed. In hope he believed. So that. No. He, he became the See, father. who contrary to hope. In hope he believed. And Hebrews 11, we know about uh, verse 1, it says faith is the substance of things that are hoped for. Contrary to hope, he hoped, he believed. Amen. So faith is the substance of things that are hoped for and evidence of things that are not seen. That is faith. Having everything and seeing everything and believing is not faith. So substance of things that are hoped for. Evidence of things that are not, not seen. seen. You are not seen, but you feel as if you have the evidence of seeing it. Hallelujah. Oh, you have the hope. And where's the substance? It's in the spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, that much uh, assured you should be. Hallelujah. And that's what Abraham did. We are going to read about his faith. Please read verse 19. And not no, contrary to hope, in hope he believed, so that he became... Father of the nations. father of many nations, according to what was spoken, okay. so shall your descendants be. Amen. And, and then, and not being weak in faith. Yeah, Romans four nineteen. And not being weak in faith. And not being weak in faith. He did not consider his own body. See, this is faith. Not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead. Already dead. Amen. His body was already dead. He did not consider it. That's it. You are not considering, going to consider this and that. Hallelujah. His body was already dead. He did not consider his own body already dead. Since he was about a hundred years old. Yes, since he was about a hundred years old. And the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yeah, he did not even consider the deadness of Sarah's womb. Hallelujah. This is what I have heard many testimonies saying that even when pastor's uh, wife like conceiving a child when the womb was removed, when the it was removed, then miraculously God blessed them with a child. God can create out of nothing. Hallelujah. If you only believe. Hallelujah. So, like that, here we read, and Abraham not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already, already dead. dead and the deadness of Sarah's womb. And he but, did not waver at the promises of God. He did not waver at the promise of God. Through unbelief. Through unbelief. Wavering is the very dangerous thing. Hallelujah. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. But, but was strengthened in faith. Was strengthened in faith. The more he became old, the more the deadness of his body, deadness of Sarah's womb, the more he continued to believe than to waver and at the promise of God. Hallelujah. Because see, at the age of 75 he was promised and now he was nearing 100. And everything is dead, but he continued to believe. He did not want to think about his deadness of his body condition, of his body and the womb of, uh, the, the condition of the womb of Sarah. He just said, I'm going to take at his word. Hallelujah. I'm going to take at his, at whom, who, who, whom I believe. Hallelujah. The Lord whom I believe. That's what Apostle Paul also says that, that we don't have time. So here, he did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. How he was strengthened in faith? Whenever the enemy tries to put us to some discouragement, 
Whenever we are going to get distressed, that's when we are going to give glory to God and become strengthened in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because that's how the enemy can put off our spirit, our faith. Hallelujah. Our hope, our and make us hopeless. Hallelujah. And make us nothing into nothing. So that's when all the more, the more we are going to face challenges, the more we are going to, oh hallelujah, maybe the, the enemy brings all kinds of negative things saying that, oh that is not possible, this is not going to happen, this is, cannot be done. And that's when we are going to, the other way, in the faith of God, we are going to say, we are going to give glory to God, giving glory to God, that's when we can give strength to the faith that we have on Him. Hallelujah. How we, we are glorifying God by just neglecting the negative thoughts or negative mind or, or all the un, unwanted things that the enemy, the, he sends the fiery darts against God's people, right? And that's why in the armor of God, faith has been given the office of the uh, shield of faith. Hallelujah. So we can put off the fiery darts of the enemy by using the shield of faith. Against him. No, I'm not going to accept whatever you say. Whatever you say, I'm defending it in the name of God. Hallelujah. And keep glorifying God. He is able. But the Lord whom I believe is alive. The Lord whom... He already give, bring back to your uh, memory all the powerful, wonder-working power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And keep confessing and meditating and releasing that power. Hallelujah. And... That's how you can be strengthened in faith. Hallelujah. He was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. And then what he did, he continued. Being fully convinced, fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Hallelujah. And therefore, it was counted to him for righteousness. Hallelujah. And now it was not written for his sake alone. It was inputted to him. But also for us, it shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised up Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was delivered up because of our offenses and was raised because of our justification. Hallelujah. So our faith, it should be like Abraham who continued to believe on the Lord, giving glory to God, fully convinced that he, what he had promised he is able to perform. Amen. So that's when, that's how we have to really exercise in the spirit, in the mind, in the thought level first. Amen. Oh, you're, if you're going to entertain all the, oh, hallelujah, disbelief and all kinds of hallelujah, glory to God, things that affect the faith life, then if you're going to confess, it has no power at all. Amen. So we have to really exercise that faith uh, through by all reading all these things, we have to understand. Also, we read the same uh, Romans, no, no, Hebrews chapter 11. Uh, we read about Moses, verse um, 26. We read that, we read that in English. By faith, mm. by faith, Moses, mm. when he became of age, mm. we read uh, 26. Esteeming the reproach of Christ. Yeah. Esteeming the reproach of Christ, greater riches, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, than the treasures in Egypt. For he looked to the reward. For he looked to the reward by faith. By faith he forsook Egypt. He forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. Not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing sin. him. For he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Yes, he endured as is, as seeing him who is invisible. He was so sure, he was so firm, as if he was seeing God personally. Of course, he saw him, and uh, uh, Mount Sinai, God spoke to him. But even before that, he forsook Egypt. Before, after, after that, only God uh, showed himself to him. But then the word of God says, he was so sure about God as though he was seeing him. Hallelujah. Who is invisible. Hallelujah. And now we say we want God to appear to us and you know say all sorts of loving words to us. <laughs> and here we, we see about Moses. Without fearing the wrath of the king, he endured as seeing him. Who is invisible. 
So that's when, like you know, that that uh, faith about God, on God, should not be affected in any manner. The enemy will always try to attack that area only. So we have to defend the faith, for which we have to fight the good fight. Hallelujah of faith. Hallelujah. Fight the good fight of faith, the Apostle Paul says, right? Lay hold on eternal life for which you have been called. And he also says, I have fought the good fight, kept the faith. Run the race and kept the faith. So that's when only when you preserve that faith that you have on God. If you lose it, you've lost it. Because it's been given, the word of God says, it's been given to people, as children, once and for all, given faith. Hallelujah. I think we're in Jude's uh, book of Jude, only one chapter is there, verse 3. Please read. We have to contend for this faith, the word of God would say that. Beloved. Beloved. I was very diligent to It is to before write. this uh, revelations, right? Jude, only one chapter, verse 3. Mm. Beloved, Beloved, while I was very diligent to write to you, while I was very diligent to write to you concerning our common salvation, concerning our common salvation, I found it necessary to write I to you. I found it necessary to write to you, exhorting you, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith, to contend earnestly for the faith, which was once for all. Yes, delivered you have to contend. You have to fight. You have to strive. You have to work hard. Hallelujah, earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Amen. For the faith which was once for all delivered. If you lose that faith, that is very a dangerous sign. So you have to contend earnestly for the faith which because you can we can afford to lose anything and everything, but not the faith on God and the faith of God. Amen. You cannot doubt or question God. Faith of God will not question him, doubt him or find fault with them, complaining, no, 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 these are the very, very weak signs of a Christian. Hallelujah. So, contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. Amen. So, hallelujah, glory to God, because there will be so many things that would happen around you to put off the faith in you. You have to really, hallelujah, fight the good fight of faith. Um, so, exhorting you to contend earnestly for the faith which was once for all delivered to the saints. And Hebrews chapter 10 and the last verse, please read. But yeah. we are not of those. Yeah, but we are not of those. Draw back to perdition. Yeah, please read the previous verse also. Now that, mm. now the just shall live by faith. Mm. But now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back. Yes, the just shall live by faith. If anyone draws back. My soul has no pleasure in him. My soul has no pleasure in him. See? Without faith it is impossible to please God. Amen. Here, the word of God says, If anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Amen. So, but we are not of those. We are not of those who draw back to perdition. Amen. Who draw back to perdition? But of those. But of those who believe to the saving of the who soul. Who believe to the saving of the soul? Why do we seek God first? To the saving of the soul, and your soul prospers. Every other thing will prosper. Amen. Hallelujah. So we are not of those who draw back to perdition. People draw back. They can't, people are not able to withstand the trials and tests that come on their way. It is not very difficult at all. If you only believe on the Lord, it is going to be, and because he is going to be, you know, the faith brings Christ, Jesus, hallelujah, to your age. Hallelujah. We know, we know about Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, the fiery furnace. When they were put into the, the sevenfold uh, fiery furnace, then three people were put into it. Christ Jesus also. It was like the Son of God. He was there in the midst of them. Hallelujah. So in the trials of faith, testings of faith only, oh, when you are persistent, when you are steadfast in faith, that's when, hallelujah, you can experience Christ personally, personally, face to face. Hallelujah. So when difficult time comes, most of the Christians are so lazy to exercise faith. 
They don't want to exercise faith. That's why they don't experience Christ in their lives. They don't really see or have one-to-one -one, uh, encounter with Christ. Hallelujah. Personal experience with Christ. Personal encounter with Christ. When we go deeper and deeper in faith, only we can taste Him, we can see Him, we can experience Him, we can walk with Him, we can talk with Him. Hallelujah. So let's not gamble or murmur or do anything that would make us to draw back because we are not people who would draw back to perdition but those or but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. Amen. Shall we close our eyes and look to God in prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So many things coming to my mind and it's just... So we are to people who will believe on the Lord, continue steadfast, and that's when well, First Peter, how we can resist the devil, we read that and we'll finish. First Peter 5, verse 8 and 9. Be sober, be sober, be vigilant, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, because your adversary the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour, seeking him whom he may devour, mm -hmm. resist him, resist him, how do we resist him, resist him, steadfast in the faith, yes, steadfast in the faith, you can resist him when you are steadfast in the faith, hallelujah, resist him, Steadfast in the faith, First Peter 5, 9. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Hallelujah. <coughs> but may the God of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, establish strengthen and settle you. Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes and look to God in prayer? Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you for this blessed time, Lord. We humble ourselves at your loving feet. You are a God who calls those things which do not exist as though they did. And you are a God who gives life to the dead. We are believing such an awesome God. Oh, hallelujah, such a great God. Help us to, hallelujah, possess the same faith that you, Lord, hallelujah, want us to have that you have in you. We release through Jesus, Lord, we can possess this faith, O Master. Hallelujah, glory to God, who is the author and finisher of faith. And pray that, Lord, you release the gift of faith on the spirit of faith, O which is recorded in your word or scriptures, Lord. May these, your children, possess the spirit of faith in them. Hallelujah, may these children possess the gift of faith in them. And find you, Lord, in every aspect of their lives, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Only the faith can open their understanding to know you and to, hallelujah, have a personal relationship with you, personal communion with you, God. Hallelujah. With the, uh, the, the disbelief, the unbelief, hallelujah, glory to God. When they have, Lord, it closes down the eyes and, oh, hallelujah, glory to God. They, they cannot. Oh, hallelujah, experience or see you, Lord, spiritually. So, Lord, we pray, heal their, hallelujah, spirits and their minds of God. And, oh, recover, release your faith and open the understanding, open the eyes of God. Rikarala, mashandara, every other power that war against these, your people, against the faith of God, against the faith of God, be bound and be cast out of their lives. Hallelujah. May your Holy Spirit send forth His power into them and destroy the works of the flesh, destroy the works of the enemy, destroy the works of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, release your power right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Lord, hallelujah. Lord, I pray whatever they have listened, whatever you have spoken, through your word, O oh Lord Jesus, you will all help them to, oh hallelujah, glory to God, preserve in their hearts and their minds and the spirit. And hallelujah, glory to God, let your living word mingle in their lives, in their spirit, O oh God. O oh, Ramasya to recover, that they cannot be separated from your word, O oh Master, that your word and your their lives together with your anointing of your Holy Spirit bring enormous, tremendous results in their lives, God. May they be warriors, may they be 
O conquerors in Christ Jesus, O God. We pray and we bless them, O Master, in Jesus' name. Continue to be with them, lead them and guide them and bless them, O Lord. Give you all the glory, praises and honor, overcoming the powers of darkness and possessing the promises, O Lord. We ask for all these things in the most precious and matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Amen.